you ain't got the skills I got or the power I got or whatever you do I do it better ten times better remember where I'm from man well let's stay with the sporting theme because for Ale Odedepo Boxing has always been a bit of an obsession. In fact, he likes it so much that he decided he wants to be more than just a spectator, which is why he co-founded Box Talk, that's YouTube's newest and hottest channel devoted to the sport. Well, viewers get an up-close and personal look at what's happening inside and outside the ring. Indeed, the channel is such a success, it's already racked up more than 40,000 views. And I'm delighted to say that Ade now joins me in the studio. A very good morning to you. I can only assume that you are a frustrated boxer in your heart of hearts. Is that true? I, I, I am, I have to say. I, um, as a youngster, I, I wanted to try and take up the sport. My mum didn't let me. Uh, so it was more football well, You've athletics. got a lovely face. She didn't want to see it bruised. I think she was, she was afraid that I might lose a few fights. So um, we said, well, rather than take part in it, you'll, you'll watch it. And then eventually, years to come, you'll talk about it and, and start to go to events and try to read and write about it. And that's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what I do. That's exactly what we do. But it's interesting how this idea started, because as I understand it, it was really you and the guys getting yeah. together every Friday or whatever at somebody's house, yeah. drinking beer, eating yeah. sandwiches, watching the fights, yeah. and then probably be thinking, you know what, there's something that's missing here. Is that, is that, is that fair? That's exactly how it started. Uh, I've got a close, my co-founder, Ryan, uh, we met at work, shared the same passion for boxing and sports in general. We used to get round together at either my house or his house. Beers, that was kind of you. Could be a few stronger things. <laughs> and we would sit yes, glasses down. of lemonade. Yeah, that's it, exactly. <laughs> we'd sit down um, and we'd discuss fights. And we'd always thought that we, we could do this. You know, we could uh, make something more of this rather than just do it amongst ourselves. We could, uh, you know, get a camera and maybe show the world what we do. Yeah, but I mean, what, what was the flaw in, in the standard coverage? Because most of us have actually seen a televised boxing match. Yeah. It runs to form. You've got a lot of the banter at the beginning. Then you've got the guys going into the ring. The fight kicks off. And whilst it's going on, you've got the, the analysis of, yeah. of the, of the ex-boxing champ along with the sports reporter. At the end of it, you've then got an interview with, with, the, with the fighter in the dressing room or on their way to the dressing room. But what was the gap? Where you know was your the stuff. floor? You know your stuff, definitely. <laughs> well, I used um, to watch a lot of boxing. I did, I did, did actually box myself, but that was quite some time ago. We always just thought that it wasn't honest. We, we used to watch it and think that's not an honest opinion of how the sport was or how the fight was. And we kind of felt we wanted to give a, a more raw but real opinion of how it was. So when you say raw, what do you mean by that? Well, uh, raw in terms of coverage. I, what we do, we, we record it from my mum's front room sometimes. He's flat, my flat. You know, there is no fancy studio. There is no white background. We try and give it to people exactly how they would want to see it, how fans could do it themselves. And I guess it gives people the opportunity to think, wait, if they do it, we could easily get a camera and do it ourselves as well. But we try not to hold back on opinions. It's quite hard. Uh, we see a lot of boxers as well. So it's almost very hard to kind of be very honest about what we thought their fight mm. went down like. Uh, and at the same time, then go and see them for an interview. But that's what we do. And I think fans have taken to that. But I mean, when you actually, I mean, well, how much access do you get? Because, I mean, do you actually go into a, a, a changing room before the fight takes place? So you can actually talk to a boxer and find out how they're feeling, what they really think about their opponent, that sort of thing? Certainly, yeah. We, we've gone to the fights, change rooms before fights, change rooms after fights. Uh, boxing is one of those sports that I think really uh, encompass what it means to kind of get close up and personal. So we've gone to see fighters train. We've seen everything, so we get to see their personalities so you've got a real as well. sense of the build-up. You're progressing somebody's career, someone to look out for in the future. Exactly, that kind of and that's what we're trying to do as well. So you almost get to see someone that's had maybe one or two fights, and it's a chance to kind of get them right at the early stage and then give them the opportunity as well to get the limelight. They don't normally get to see to be on YouTube or to be interviewed, so it's almost a thing they love as well. I mean, it's interesting because when you look at some of these fights, the preamble when the guys are doing the weigh-in, yeah. or perhaps a few days before that, they're all sort of up in each other's faces and being verbally abusive. Yeah. Is that just banter or is that anger, contempt for real? Oh, no, you do get some genuine animosity between some of these fighters. I think it's almost, you know, they really want to win the fight. So you get that kind of animosity, but at the end of the fight, you get a respect as well. I think they both realise that we've trained our hardest to fight each other. So there's that animosity in the beginning, but then there's always that genuine handshake after a fight as well. I think that's what people have drawn to boxing. It's such a physical and hard and tough sport, a man's sport, as they say. Or but a get, girls, because there, are, a women's girls, sport. there, there are, are women boxers. Shout out to Nicola Adams, <laughs> Olympic gold medalist, you're right. <laughs> uh, but I think there's that kind of genuine animosity, but then you get a fair handshake after the fight to say, look, we just put ourselves through the mill. 12 rounds of hard, hard graft and, you know, a handshake at the end of it. What does the bro boxing fraternity think about this channel? 
Good. We've, we, I, mean, I think, to be fair, we've spoken to a lot of top promoters in Britain. So the Frank Warrens, people like that. The Frank like Warrens, that. the Eddie Hearns, and they've always let us in. They've let us into press conferences. They've given us press passes for shows. They've watched our channel. They see what we're like. Initially, we're afraid as well. Are we too raw? Are, we, are our opinions a bit too much? But they like it. Uh, I think it always it gives their show publicity as well. Um, you know, our, our YouTube channel has got now, I think, just over a course of a million views in a short space of time. So they realise that we promote a fight as well, which helps them. Boxing is a marquee sport, but it's not up there sure. like the football and the rugby in this country. Well, not so, yet. Not yet, exactly. So I think but, it needs to get to that heyday again. But, I mean, do you think that this could perhaps help to lead it, take it to that level? Yeah, there's people that do what we do, uh, similar to what we do in this country, and they've got they get millions of views. But you do it better. <laughs> yeah, well, definitely, you said that, Gina. I didn't say it. You said that. But yeah, I think we do do it a bit better as well. We definitely do it. But I mean, the interesting thing about your company as well is that this is self-funded. So the camera equipment, all the filming, etc., the travel, it yeah. comes out of your own pockets. That's Given it. the number of hits you're getting, yeah. do you actually think that? people are not going to say, hang on a minute, it might be worth our while chucking in some cash because there's some great advertising opportunities and things, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, no, that's exactly what we're looking for. At the moment, when we started, we used to use the camera on my Apple Mac. We used to turn it around and use that. We then put a bit of money together and got a camera, a video camera, a mic. Now we are looking for sponsorship to take it to that next stage. You know, um, we only try and cover what's in London. There's so many other outreach and places we'd love to go to. But simply, I work full time. My partner, Ryan, works full time and we just simply can't afford it. So eventually, hopefully, a bit of sponsorship will come and that'll take us to that next level. OK, so today, today London, tomorrow the world, and the day after the rest of the universe. That's the aim. People <laughs> are going to Mars now, so you never know. Well, you, you never know, Mars. but fighting Martians. Ade Oladipo, an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in and Thanks good luck with the channel. Cheers, thank you very Cheers. much for having me.